Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike platform rack right here on our 2019 Buick Encore. So the Hollywood Racks Destination bike rack is a compact rack, great for if you want something super quick and easy to just pop into your hitch. You can fold it down, store it in your trunk or in your garage and it doesn't take up too much space. So we're gonna take a look at some of the features of this bike rack, but focus on how it works for the Buick Encore, just to make sure that you get the right bike rack for you, your bicycles, and your vehicle. This has a 35 pound weight capacity, which is pretty much the traditional bike rack weight capacity. If you have extra heavy electric bikes, this is not gonna be the best fit for you. But for most of your lighter mountain bikes, your road bikes, your just regular around town bikes, this could be a great fit. So we're gonna take a look at some of the ways, or I guess the three different mounting points for our bike. So we have one, two wheel straps, those are really holding down our wheels. We have those ratchets here. And then we have our frame mount. So the frame mount is a little bit unique. We have a 360 degree rotation. So depending on your bike's frame, this can move up, down, left and right, or even around. So compared to those bike racks, like the other compact bike rack, the Swagman XC2, which is even lighter than this, but that has a frame clamp that's a hook that comes down here and it's kind of difficult to maneuver over. This makes it a little easier for those kids' bikes, women's bikes, step-through bikes. So let's take our bike off by starting at the wheel straps. You press on this lever and that releases the strap. So you're just gonna lift this up and out of the way. And I like to just rotate this so it's out of the way of the spokes when I take my bike off. So that's one strap, and this is our second strap. And then we're gonna go over to our frame mount. Because of how it's designed, it can be a little tricky. So you're just gonna have to figure out the best way to do this with your own bicycle. But I'm supporting this with one arm as I release that strap. And once that strap is out of the way, I can lift this out, then over the mass, and I'm ready to go. With the bike out of the way, let's talk about the bike rack itself. So these straps secure that wheel. They have this nice little rubber cushion on top to give you more grip, as well as to help cushion your bike's wheel while you're on the road. Please put away your straps, even when your bikes are not on there. That way they're not flapping around as you drive around and they last a little bit longer. This mast as well has a strap that secures to it and we already talked about how this can rotate, but notice how you also have those rubber grooves on the inside, also for cushion and grip. With the way these are designed, I'm sorry to call them the wings, they can fit around tire widths of up to three inches, and then you can adjust them back and forth to accommodate different wheelbases with the longest wheelbase being 48 inches. This bike rack does not tilt away. Some bike racks do. With the bike still on, you can tilt them away. Something a little bit more premium, something you would see on like the Kuat Transfer V2. In our case though, we don't have to put the mast down to put to lift our hatch because the Encore has a small enough of a hatch that it easily clears that mast. And as long as your bikes are off, you get to reach into your trunk, grab whatever you need, whether it's your helmets, your bags, your waters, without having to take the bike rack off completely. While this is a compact rack, it still adds a little bit of length to the back of your Encore. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much. Measuring from the bumper to the end of the bike rack by these nice white reflectors, it sits at 23 inches of length. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have a bike rack behind you. Another measurement some people are interested about, especially with the Encore, since it does sit a little closer to the ground compared to your larger SUVs and trucks, is ground clearance. So that's measuring from the end of the wings to the ground. It's 14 and a half inches. From the end of the bike rack to ground, it's 19 inches. Compare that shank rise with right where that shank is. And that's only nine and a half inches. So whenever you're going up those steep inclines, like your driveways or hills, 
please be mindful of any hitch accessory you have and that you have a shank rise so your bikes aren't hitting the ground. And you can make this even more compact. So when your bikes are off and you're just ready to drive around town but you don't want to take your bike rack off, you can fold down the mast and from there you can fold up the bike rack. So you have that knob there. Turn the knob just enough so you can move this anchor. Try to tighten that knob back down. Don't completely take it off. And then just lower that mast. And from here you have different options. You can use your frame mount straps or you can do what I'm doing. And I like to use the wheel straps to secure that mast in place. And once that's there, I can then fold it up by taking this clip out, which allows me to take this bolt out. With that out of the way, let that hang, lift this up, and then pop that bolt back in to secure it. With this bolt secure, very important because it holds your bike rack in place, this is now the compact position. So let's talk about that. Closest point you're gonna get between this bike rack is from the bumper to our frame mounts, and that's about two inches of clearance there. This is just a soft strap. This is also sturdy, so it's not getting any closer than that. Length now added to the back of our vehicle is from the bumper to where that pivot point is, and it's 10 inches. Big difference compared to when this was folded down. You'll definitely want this in this position when you're just planning on driving around town, or if you want to store this in your trunk or in your garage. Remember how small our hatch is on our Encore? Well, even with this folded up, you can still open up that hatch. That's impressive. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind you? Well, as you can see here, everything is open and visible behind our Encore. Our a window is visible, our tail lights, our license plate, our backup camera. So it is nice to see that you can keep this on your vehicle and not really suffer from a lack of different features with Dawn. This has an inch and a quarter shank. It fits right into our inch and a quarter hitch receiver. But if you happen to have a two inch hitch receiver, perfectly fine because you also get an included adapter for that receiver size. It includes an anti-rattle bolt, so just tighten that down. You are gonna need to use your own tools though. So I have a three quarter inch socket wrench. That's what I use for the anti-rattle bolt. And let's do a quick shake test to show how that works. As I shake our bike rack back and forth to simulate that road swing vibration, notice how I'm really just moving the car at this point, showing that that connection there is secure. My personal thoughts about this bike rack is I really like how it pairs with the Encore. I think it's a great pairing here, especially since no matter what position the bike rack is in, you can open up your hatch. You are gonna have to take your bikes off though. If that's gonna be an issue for you, maybe something more premium like the Kuwait Transfer V2. But all in all, it fits well, very light, very compact. If you need slightly more weight capacity, maybe check out the Let's Go Aero Neo 2. But for everything else, the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack is a great option for your 2019 Buick Encore.